So in this recording, let's uh, spend a little bit more time um, talking about primase and how DNA replication has an inherent problem. And the solution to that problem um, is going to be telomeres. So what are telomeres? Telomeres are, in a nutshell, segments of DNA that don't encode for anything um, that we find at the end of linear chromosomes. Now, the key to this is to really understand DNA replication. So remember, DNA polymerases can only add a nucleotide onto a growing 3' prime end. Right? So we know that we have to prime um, a strand of DNA so that DNA polymerase 3 can come in and start to build a new chain, a complementary strand of DNA. And we have primase come in to make little tiny nucleotide or sorry, RNA primers that um, DNA polymerase 3 can build off of. That's great. And so we talked about that, and that leads to this leading and lagging strand because we can only build 5 prime to 3 prime. Only build 5 prime to 3 prime. Let me say that one more time. You can only build DNA 5 prime to 3 prime. Let's always remember that. All right? So we're building 5 prime to 3 prime. So though the 5 prime to 3 prime ends of this picture aren't labeled, you, based on what's going on here, should be able to figure out which ends are 5 prime and 3 prime. Now, if you take this, though, and think about a linear chromosome, basically, as you start to build the 5 prime end of a complementary strand, you have to prime it, right? So if we look here, so you can see if the template strand is at the 3 prime end, when we go down, we see here's this last fragment. We have the lagging strand. There's an RNA primer there. We build off of it. DNA polymerase 1 comes in, removes the primers, replaces the primers with DNA. A ligase is going to come in and kind of um, staple up all the gaps. But wait a second. That final RNA primer that is on the most extreme 5' prime end of the new strand can be removed, but it can't be replaced. So DNA polymerase 1 is going to prime off the existing fragment downstream or upstream, depending on how you look at it, of it to always fill in more DNA. But there's nothing to prime off of at the very end of that molecule. So now, in essence, what I have is a 3' prime overhang. I have a single-stranded short segment of DNA on that original molecule. Now, when this molecule goes through another round of replication, ultimately what's going to happen is I'm going to get a shorter molecule. So that every time DNA, a linear chromosome, replicates in our cells, basically, we're shortening them. Now, there's lots of hypotheses on the effects of the shortening of your chromosomes and aging. But we certainly can't be losing important information. That would be disastrous. So what we have found is these regions of DNA that we call telomeres. And these are repeats of sequence that doesn't encode for any proteins. And they can be estimated above 10,000 base pairs, so 10 kb worth of kind of buffer zone at the end of your chromosomes that can be shortened and it has no impact on um, the expression of the genes, the information that those telomeres or that those chromosomes contain. So you can actually highlight those, you can make a probe for them and you can highlight them and the orange blobs at the end of every chromosome are in fact your telomeres. Now the problem becomes, you might say, well there's the solution, right? We have these telomeres, that's great. The problem becomes that you do have a line of cells in your body that ultimately um, is immortal. Like, they're going to pass on basically half of their chromosomes onto your progeny, your children, which will then become their cells, and there's part of some of their cells will be germline cells that will pass on um, sperm or egg to their children, so on and so forth. So the DNA in those cells literally is being replicated ad infinitum. Okay? So they cannot be continued, they cannot continue to be shortened. There has to be some mechanism to replace those tel telomeres. And so what we have is an enzyme called telomerase, or telomerase, but telomerase is usually how it's pronounced. And it actually is going to come in and lengthen the telomeres in your germline cells. Right? We see telomerase activity in many types of this incredibly complex disease we call cancer, and that is one reason we think that cancer cells can become what we call immortalized. 
that they can go through an unlimited number of divisions without um, eating into their sequence because their chromosomes are, are getting shorter. Because they're not. Because they're being maintained by telomerase. So it's a very interesting protein. And it has an RNA incorporated into the protein. So it's an RNA protein complex that is literally going to start building repeats on the end of the DNA. And so I want you to be aware of it. You don't have to understand the mechanism behind it. But I want you to be aware of what telomeres do. Their junk, quote unquote, sequence that protects our um, the information in chromosomes because you can lose it at the ends of the DNA as it replicates. But also then telomerase is an RNA protein complex that in the right types of cells, in germline cells, is going to extend those telomeres so that they can continue um, to reproduce.